Close your eyes and watch your breath. Stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Try to show some patience and endurance while you do this, because it takes a while for the mind to settle down. It's like you've got a large factory in here, and when you shut down one part of the factory, sometimes it takes a while for the other parts to finally, finally, finally shut down as well. As you get better at this, of course, you'll find that there are quicker ways of doing it. But in the beginning, you have to show some patience. It's, it's only through patience that you learn to see things that are brand new that you didn't see otherwise. When Buddha taught meditation to his son, one of the first things he taught him, even before he taught a meditation technique, was to be patient. He said, make your mind like earth. People spit on the earth and the earth doesn't get upset. There are a lot of things in life that we have to learn that if we can just bear them with a little patience, we'll be in a much better position. So you have to learn how to develop that quality of being able to withstand things that are unpleasant. And there are basically two unpleasant things that the Buddha talks about. One is painful feelings and the other is harsh words. Words that people say with hurtful intent, or that you take hurtfully. You have to learn how to bear with them. First off, just try to depersonalize them. Okay, There may be a sound at your ears, but just leave it at the sound of the ears. As the Buddha said, just think to yourself, an unpleasant sound has made contact at the ear, and that's it. Don't bring it into your mind. It's when you bring it into the mind that you set your mind on fire. Same with unpleasant sensations, harsh pains. Okay, There's just a pain there, but you don't have to personalize it. Instead, th think of the good things that you've got going for you. This is why when the Buddha was sick, he, he told someone, that what, someone asked him, what are you doing here while you're lying down sick? And the Buddha said, I'm spreading thoughts of goodwill to the entire world. In other words, you think about good things in your life. If you focus on how hard this is or how hard that is, that makes it even harder. But if you realize you've got extra strengths, you've got extra good qualities that you can develop, then you focus on those. And that makes the difficult things a lot harder to bear with. And when you can bear with them, you can see them. It's like people doing scientific experiments. Sometimes they have to watch for long, long periods of time before they can detect what's going on. And if they didn't have that patience, they wouldn't learn anything. And it's the same with our lives. We want to learn what's going on in our minds, why our minds are causing suffering. So sometimes you have to watch them for a long time, all the events coming on and going in the mind. Now, some things the Buddha says you should endure and others you shouldn't. Now, things you shouldn't endure, when you realize something is unskillful in the mind, you don't let it take over. Thought of sensuality, a thought of ill will, a thought of harmfulness, these things come up in the mind. You try to get rid of them quickly. You don't endure those things. What you have to endure is the unple unpleasant things that come from your past karma. As for your present karma, you have to be on top of that all the time. So learn how to endure the results of the past, like today. It's a hot day. What are you going to do about it? You're going to go back and change things? You can't. You've got the hot day, and it's going to last for a couple of days, and it's going to change. And so you learn how to focus on the good things that you can do even when it's hot. You can sit here very quietly and meditate. That's an easy thing to do when it's hot. There are lots of other good things you can do as well. Focus on the good things you can do, and the difficult things become a lot easier to bear. And this becomes a blessing in our lives, as the Buddha said. Endurance is one of the highest blessings. So this is how you bless yourself as you go through the day, learning how to endure things that <clears throat> if you didn't have the ability to endure them, you'd start doing something really stupid, something really harmful, something you'd later regret. So learn how to develop some endurance. You learn things about yourself, you learn things about the world around you, and you find that it's a lot easier to put good things into the world even when the world is throwing bad things at you. When you have that inner kind of strength, okay, then you're on top.